Hi children, this is numerical number 11 from the NCRT textbook page number 169 from the chapter Magnetic Effects of Current. Actually, we, we were having cyclotron principle earlier, so till last year. This year due to COVID-19, a 30% portion has been reduced. It is in that reduced portion, but the concept is in syllabus. It is not exactly, no word is mentioned like it is cyclotron. But it is cyclotron only, right? In a chamber, a uniform magnetic field of 6.5 gas is maintained. An electron is shot into the field. Electron is shot into the field with a speed of 4.8 into 10 power 6 meter per second, normal to the field. Explain why the path of the electron is a circle. Determine the radius of the circular orbit. That means you have provided a magnetic field like this into the plane of paper, imagine, and an electron enters perpendicular to magnetic field. Electron enters perpendicular to magnetic field like this. According to right hand rule, the charged particle, since it is electron negatively charged particle, this will move in a circular path like this. Why this moves in a circular path? Why? Because the force is perpendicular to velocity. If the velocity is like this, the force will be perpendicular to it. If the velocity is like this, the force is perpendicular to it. If the velocity is like this, the force is perpendicular to it. So in which case force is perpendicular to velocity, that particular force that is responsible for the change in the direction of the charged particle from moment to moment, okay, that force provides a centripetal force. That's why it follows a circular path. So what would be the answer for this question? First part, explain why the path of the electron is a circle. Simply you can write, the force is perpendicular to velocity. In which case force perpendicular to velocity, this force does not increase the speed of the particle but changes the direction of the particle from moment to moment. That's why it is circular. Right, done. Number two, determine the radius of circular orbit. If you remember, the radius of the circular orbit, the formula is mv by bq. Refer previous videos, you will get to know, right? Radius. Mass. Mass of the electron is given to you as 9.1 into 10 power minus 31. Speed is given to you as 4.8 into 10 power 6. Divided by magnetic field is 6.5 gas. Gas to be converted to Tesla 10 power minus 4. Charge of the electron actually it would be 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. But they have given it as 1.5. As is given we have to lay, we have to take 1.5 into 10 power minus 19. If you simplify this, you will get the radius as 4.2 into 10 power minus 2 meter. Which is equal to 4.2 centimeter. I hope it is understood children. Thank you very much. Right.